Hello and welcome to Informatica's Global Customer Support Knowledge Base video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a custom template as it pertains to the data subset for use with SAP product version 6.1D. My name is George Klein. During this video I'm going to be discussing what is a template, what are some of the reasons for creating custom templates, and then I'll provide a short demonstration of how to create a custom template using one of our SAP instances. First of all, what is a template? A template is a collection of entities and or groups. In previous videos I have talked about how to create a custom entity and uh, as a short recap an entity is a collection of tables that are logically related to each other that represents a SAP business object. Because these tables are logically related to each other, that allows us to create selection criteria in order to provide a subset of data uh, that remains functionally intact for that SAP business object the entity represents. Because templates is a collection, are a collection of entities and or groups, uh, there can be several entities within a template, which would then mean there could be several different selection criteria for that template. Uh, the selection criteria would be for each entity contained in the template. As was mentioned in the previous video con concerning the custom entities, best practice is to create a custom entity and custom template if you are ever going to use any other table other than what is provided by the factory. The product is delivered with several uh, factory templates, each of them containing factory entities and groups that all contain standard SAP tables representing the business objects that are contained within the template. Now most customers have custom tables that are also pertaining to a given entity. When a custom entity is created, the entity is uh, the custom entity is modified to add the custom tables specific to that customer. This prevents any kind of uh, these custom entities from being overwritten by any kind of uh, product new product version or hotfix that becomes available. Therefore, by creating the custom template, you are ensuring that your uh, custom entities contained in the template are not overwritten during a project upgrade. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate how to create a custom template. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to the data subset for use with SAP main area menu. And we do that by entering in the transaction entry slash and slash get st main. And this brings us to the main data subset area menu. Let's go to configuration. We'll go to objects. And we'll go to maintain template. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is create a copy of a factory template to our uh, custom template that we're creating. So let's go ahead and find our uh, uh, factory template and we're going to use the HRPA template this time. Okay, now you can see that we have the HRPA template in front of us with all of the entities and groups that are contained in this uh, factory template. We're going to copy this one to our custom template and so we're going to call this HRPA template for the say Acme company and then I click on the uh, copy button again and now we have our new uh, customer or custom template for the custom customer Acme. We're going to go ahead and save that and template is saved. OK. 
Okay, now we have our HRPA template, uh, Acme custom template created, which is a copy of the HRPA template factory template. And the first thing we want to do is we want to. Uh, okay, when we're modifying this custom template, we want to make sure that this standard checkbox is unchecked. That's important because that determines whether this is a factory template or a custom template. And now we're going to, I'm going to also delete all of these uh, entities and groups from our custom template. And then I'm going to save the template again. Now I want to add the custom entity I created earlier in a different video. So I'll go ahead and click on the plus and I will click on the type and it's a entity and the component name is HR employee data Acme. And this is the custom entity I had created in an earlier uh, video. And we want to make sure that this is um, in the active state and because there is no parent type to this uh, template we leave the other two blank and then we go ahead and save it. Okay and that's it. Uh, there's only one more step left and that's to add a selection, selection criteria to our custom template and so we'll do that right now we'll back out of here and we will go to our selectors and because we're going to we only have one entity in our template and that uh, custom entity is using the standard factory uh, selector for that entity we're just going to assign that factory selector to our template so I click on the template the object is going to be our HR PA template Acme that we just created and it shows here that we want to get rid of this because that's the old one we'll delete it we'll save it and then we'll go into update mode again click on the add button and we now look for our uh, selector HRMP or our HR employee data and that's it right there. Our configuration state is 10 for active and we want to click on the standard as it's a standard selector for this template and then we save it. Alright now if we go to build a project we uh, create a new project and we'll just call this HR data uh, HR data and we'll give it a endpoint going to UF0 client 102 and going to use source wins we go ahead and then save our project we add the operation to our project we're going to use templates and now that we've created a custom template and we've checked unchecked that standard checkbox when we created it it will show up in our customer directory here. So we're going to go ahead and there's our custom template. We're going to assign it to the project. We'll save it. Let me exit. And then we're going to add our selection criteria. And now we see our selection criteria. We can put in employee 5. For instance, we're going to save the selection and now our project is ready to generate using our new custom uh, template that we created. And that's it. We have now created our custom template. We'd love to hear from you. You can contact us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can contact us through our Twitter account at uh, twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you and have a nice day.